Hi, this is uh, Patrick Hunt here, middle of April, and the flowers are in bloom on the cherry tree. So this is a, an edible cherry tree at the back of the shed in what we call the chicken garden. Um, this area here is walled on, on all sides, except for a small connection over there. Um, it's a beautiful, small little space. It's about 20, uh, 20 something feet square almost. And uh, in here there's a variety of different apple trees and some cherry trees. And what I've been doing recently is underplanting it with um, some bush fruit. So I have some black currants and uh, and that in here. You can see another one over there. And uh, just by the wall over here, I used to have a little greenhouse that I got rid of. It actually was too small and it used to heat up too much. And what I've planted in here against the wall is um, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, Japanese wineberry. That's it. Yeah, Japanese wineberry. Uh, it's just a small little plant now, and this part of the garden here, brambles grow quite a lot, so it'll be perfect for Japanese wineberry. I let it do. I let it do its thing along here. I might attach some wires to the wall, this purely south-facing wall, and sort of train it a little bit. But um, I let that ramp away there. It's a kind of a, a rough enough um, garden. I, I don't overly manage it. What I have been doing is putting in a lot of comfort under all the fruit trees. So I dug up a little bit there recently and I've introduced it around this apple tree here, around that apple tree there, around the cherry itself. So it's just basically fruit underplanted with comfrey and then the bush fruit as well. And it's a nice place to come as well if we're looking for nettles, you know, for ma making nettle soup or pesto. All along there there's nettles and having had chickens in here, there's fairly good fertility from their droppings in that. And, uh, this apple tree is really nice. Uh, I've pruned it so that it's got open in the middle, keep it fairly small. And um, what I'll usually do then is thin out the fruit. I'll take off maybe two or three from each group and just leave two apples. And uh, we get really nice apples from it. So yeah, this is a lovely part of the garden. It's just a bit relaxed. I'll come in and occasionally just strim it, just mainly for access um, and to, to control the brambles using a chop and drop. Thanks very much.